Barbara and Tim are here today. They're now Tiba's legal guardians. We've actually met before on the Dr. Phil show, back when Tiba was just beginning a very long, complicated series of surgeries. That was many years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's been at least three, three, three years. Three years, yeah. Wow. She's like a caterpillar who has now become this beautiful butterfly. She comes from this tiny little village in Iraq with no running water, and she's mastered iPods, iPads, computers, <laughs> and has to tell me how to do it. Wow. And Dr. Orden, real quickly, let's walk through. Tiba had such severe burns, how a plastic she surgeon did, goes about. And we're going to meet her doctor, plastic surgeon, uh, Dr. Gosain. But you know, our part of our training as plastic surgeons is, is the treatment, evaluation, care of severe burns. And you know, Dr. Travis, one of the most devastating injuries that a human being can have, a severe thermal injury. You know, in the case of, of Tiba, it was primarily second and third degree burns that have involved all this treatment, all these multiple operations. And it's so important to, to talk about what, what is being done for her. You see these balloons that they've put in her neck, in her back. What are we doing? Well, we're just stretching out the good skin. We take that skin, once it's been stretched, and I'm going to use this cheesecloth to show you what happens. We actually mesh it. And by meshing that skin, you're able to, to get more surface area so you can cover more areas. But you have to be very attuned to color match, where you take the skin, how you put it, because you, on the face especially, you want to uh, respect what we call aesthetic units. That You want to do the cheek, the nose, the forehead in such a way that it looks as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. And the key concept here is once it becomes third degree below the dermis, that skin will never grow back. And it's, that's why you have to do these It's never going to grow back. And other things and you have to do, you have to make sure it doesn't get infected. You have to use splints as necessary. You have to remove the, the dead tissue and immediately overgraft that so that you don't lose fluids and it doesn't contract.